the world needs the writing. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and here we talk about all things writing. And in today's video, we are gonna be talking about this one thing that every writer hates. You guessed it. If you look at the title, you guessed it. Writer's block. And I've dealt with writer's block before. And chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably dealt with writer's block. So today I'm gonna be telling you how to beat it because if I can beat it, I know you guys can too. So let's get to it. Whenever I'm dealing with writer's block, one thing I like to do now is I'll grab one of my favorite books. This is Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. It just came out this week. It's amazing. I'm not done yet, but it's amazing. So I'll grab a book that I'm reading or one of my favorite books and I'll go to the first chapter and I'll read the first line and I'm gonna read this one just because it's what I'm reading. It says, when it comes to the streets, there is rules. And for some reason, whenever I read the first line of a book or the first line of a chapter of a book, any chapter, no matter where it's placed, I feel like that can spark an idea if I'm struggling to come up with something. I don't know why it works that way, but just something clicks after I read something else. So try this out. Try reading one line of your favorite book or it could be the first line, it can be the last line, it could be just a random line in the middle somewhere and see if you can write after that. And if that doesn't work, you can move on to tip number two. Tip number two is to listen to music or try watching a movie that's in the genre that you're currently writing in. Music, it usually helps me because whenever I hear a lyric that really resonates with me, it can spark an idea for my story. And usually this happens when I'm not writing and I'm just chilling in my car, I listen to a nice little jam on the radio or something. An idea comes to my head. I think that's because we also have our mind off of writing when we're listening to music, unless you're one of those people that likes to listen to music while you write. Yeah, sometimes the lyrics, they might just hit you hard and that just invokes a feeling in you that makes you just have to write about it. So try listening to music and if the music doesn't work, Try watching a movie. And if you're on a time crunch and you have a deadline or something coming up and you don't think it's beneficial for you to watch a whole movie, watch maybe 10 or 15 minutes of it and see how you feel after you watch that portion of the movie. Because I watch movies, probably way too many movies when I'm supposed to be writing. And once I go back to writing after watching those movies, I feel inspired to write something new because once you see something that characters are going through on the big screen, it can inspire you to write something on the pages. So give that a try. And the next tip, if you're struggling to figure out what you want to write, try reviewing your outline or any notes that you have lying around. With me, my notes are literally everywhere. I have notes on my phone, I have notes on random sticky notes, in my notebooks, in my outline, and oftentimes I can forget a good idea that came to me. And when I go back and review the notes or my outline, it kind of helps me refocus on what I'm writing on. And if you don't outline, if you don't take notes whenever you're writing a story, try outlining it can be super basic like mine like for each chapter i have maybe one sentence that shows the one thing that has to happen in each chapter and sometimes it's not even full sentences it'd be like phrase so and so meets so and so <laughs> it can literally be something as simple as that and also it's important to know that when you're writing a story you don't have to write everything in order i'll write the first chapter and then I'll write the last chapter because I usually know how I want my stories to start and I know how I want them to end. And the hard part for me is connecting everything in the middle. So try that out if nothing else is working for you and see how it goes. Because trying to write everything in chronological order can stress you out because if you don't know what scene you want to happen next or if you don't feel like the current scene that you're working on is working, it's totally cool to move on to something else because working on something else might help you get ideas for that scene that you're struggling to finish up. All right, and the next tip work on something else when i'm writing something and i'm getting stuck it's tempting to continue to try to force it out of you but if you're struggling to come up with an idea it's okay to work on something else what i like to do if i'm struggling to work on a story which is one of the benefits of working on two books at one time i can just move on to the next story working on something else it might trigger another idea about the story that you were struggling to finish up because it might not work for the main script that you're working on, but it might work for something else that you're planning on writing. So working on something else, it doesn't even have to be a story. It can be like a puzzle. It can be a poem. It can be knitting if you're into that or working on some type of creative project just to kind of give your brain a break from trying to force words out. And then after a certain amount of time has passed by or when you've finished that project that you're working on, 
try to go back to your story and see if you can put some words on the pages. It doesn't have to be a lot, but something to just keep your story moving. And another thing I like to do when I'm struggling to figure out what I want to write, I like to read what I have already allowed. This is particularly helpful for me when I'm reading dialogue out loud because I'll read something aloud that I wrote and then I'll be like, that does not even sound right. Like, do people even talk like that? And then after I try to fix that up, it will spark something new in me. It will make me feel inspired and reconnected to my story. And if you don't want to read aloud or if you're in a place where you're not able to read aloud because people might be looking at you like, why this girl over here talking to herself you can put your headphones in and copy and paste your work into something like google translate that'll read it out loud to you that's something i picked up when i was writing in college and after you try all these tips and you still haven't got your momentum back just take a break honestly take as long as you need to feel inspired to write because writing is definitely hard what i like to do if i'm just completely stuck on a manuscript no matter how hard i try i'll take a break for a while and it can be an hour, it can be a whole day, it could even be a whole week or two. But eventually just get back to working on your story because the world needs your story. If God put that story in you, he put that in you for a reason. He don't want you to keep it to yourself. He wants you to share it with the world. Show the world your greatness. Don't keep your stories hidden within you. We want to read those stories too. And do you break some things that you can do? You can maybe go for a walk, go for a drive, just chill out in nature, quiet your thoughts. Pray, do whatever you got to do when you get that little inkling in you that tells you, hey, it's probably time to write again. Or when you find yourself unable to think about anything else aside from writing, get back to it. Don't let writer's block beat you because you're bigger than writer's block. You can kick its butt. If I can kick its butt, you can too. And if you guys have any tips that you have that you personally use, comment them down below and share with our community so we all can learn from each other. And if you guys like videos like this, be sure to check out my author playlist where I share other advice that has been helpful for me along my journey as a writer. And also I have some vlogs too if y'all are into that. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and share with your friends. And if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you do that and hit that bell so you can be notified when I post a new video. So I will see y'all next time. Have a good day. Happy writing. Write today. Please write today. The world needs your writing.